All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Matta. Coin of the day, Cardano, AKA ADA, AKA can this coin 2X, 5X, 10X? How much momentum is Cardano going to have moving forward when the infamous smart contracts actually start doing what they're supposed to do? So, rumor has it, because I interviewed Steve from VY Finance, he's one of the CEOs of a DEX on Cardano. He says that when this next hard fork takes place, things are going to be drastically different. Now, I know we've heard that before, but let's dive deep. So taking a look at Cardano price predictions, Cardano currently has a circulating supply of 34 billion coins out in circulation. Price point is 46 cents. If we take the circulating supply, we times that by the price that gives a market cap of 15.7 billion dollars. So worldwide across every exchange is roughly 15 billion dollars worth of ADA out in circulation. So I always round just to keep things simple. So let's say Cardano is 50 cents today and the market cap is 16 billion. In order for you to 2X on that investment and for the price of Cardano to hit a dollar, market cap needs to be 32 billion. 10X on that investment, $5 would be 160 billion. 20X, $10, 320 billion. And for you to 100X on a Cardano investment and for the price of Cardano to hit $50, the market cap would need to be $1.6 trillion. So if we take a look at Ethereum became that number one layer one blockchain, if Cardano could possibly become the number one layer one blockchain, I don't think it's unrealistic to think that Cardano would have a $500 billion market cap. But we also saw Cardano hit a $94 billion market cap without smart contracts even being on, which is absolutely crazy to me. The market cap, so if Cardano were to run up to $3, the market cap would be about $96 billion. $5, $160 billion. I don't know if the if everything runs smooth on the blockchain maybe maybe so the first site i'd like to check out is lunar crush lunar crush tracks cryptocurrencies based off of popularity we can see that social mentions are up 10 percent engagements up 35 percent social contributions are up 10 percent market caps up 0.8 percent uh, shared links are down 0.1 percent spam volume is down 10 percent bullish sentiment is up 9.5 percent bear sentiment is up 15.2 percent reddit volume is up 10.1 percent medium volume is down 3 point youtube volume is down 18 point and volatility is down 29 percent news volume is up 8.6 percent now if we swing over to masari masari makes it really easy for you to track things like return on investment and inflation so we can see that if you invested in cardano one year ago you'd be down 79.63 percent three months ago you'd be down down 7.9%. One month ago, you'd be down 1.2%. One day, you'd be down 1.2%. But in the last 24 hours, you'd be up 6.15%. Cardano put in an all-time high at $3.10 on September 2nd of 2021. It is currently down 85.14% from its all-time high. It is up from its cycle low of 40 cents, which it hit on May 12th of 2022, and it is currently up 16.8% from its cycle low. According to Masari, Cardano has an inflation rate of 1.92%. It has a stock to flow of a 52.15, which is really, really good. 10 year projected supply is only 37 billion. 50 year projected supply is only 41 billion. So in the next 50 years, they're not gonna be putting out a massive amount of coins into circulation. Now, if we swing over to CoinMarketCal, CoinMarketCal is like your crypto event calendar. And it lets you know what big upcoming events. And we have Cardano at Rare Bloom on October 14th. Rare Bloom Cardano Community Event in Gaylord Rookies, Colorado from October 14th to the 15th. And for some reason, I can't see the other event. So who knows? Maybe it's Masari Mainnet. The next study to check out is Coin Codex. Coin Codex uses machine learning and AI indicators to make price predictions. So according to Coin Codex, they're saying that ADA price predictions in the next five days are 45 cents. ADA price predictions over the next month are 38 cents. Two months down to 21 cents, but six months they're saying a dollar 73, and one year they're saying four dollars and 88 cents. To put that back into context, they're saying four dollars and 88 cents. You're talking about a 160 billion dollar market cap. I would assume we're probably gonna need to make it out of a bear market. And I don't know if we're gonna be at that point a year from now, but it'd be very interesting to see. All right, let's do it like this. So, so today is September 22nd. So let's say a year from now, October 1st of 2023, where do you think the price of Cardano is gonna be? Drop a comment below and you guys remind me a year from now to come back and check these comments. Whoever gets it closest, we'll do a $250 Cardano airdrop. So drop some comments below. Let me know where you guys think the price of Cardano is going to be on October 1st of 2023. And you guys got to remind me to come back and check this video and do this giveaway for you guys. So 
Drop those comments below. Let me know what you guys think. So according to Coin Codex's Cardano price predictions, the value of Cardano is predicted to drop by 0.62% and reach a target of 45 cents by September 27th of 2022. According to our technical indicators, the current sentiment is bearish while the fear and greed index is showing extreme fear. Cardano recorded 16 out of 30 green days with an average price velocity of 4.5%. According to the internet growth signals, internet growth says buy, Google growth says strong buy, Facebook growth says strong buy, and mobile growth says buy. And these are their 2023, 2024, and 2025 price predictions for Cardano. Taking a look at the sediment of the market, 39% are bullish, while 61% are bearish on Cardano right now. Taking a look at Cardano highlights first risk analysis, positive price performance compared to token sale price, 16 green days in the last 30 days. Cardano has high liquidity based on its market cap. It's trading on Binance and it's trading with the Canadian dollar. Risk analysis, prices dropped significantly over the past year, down 79%. It has outperformed 80% of top 100 crypto products, so it has a B minus. Outperformed Bitcoin and Ethereum, which everything did. Trading below the 200 day simple moving average, which most of the market is. It's down 85% from its all time high, and its yearly inflation rate is 7.49%. So crazy how these websites put out information that I don't know if is actually accurate or not because I don't think Cardano's inflation rate is 7.9%. According to Masari, it's 1.92%. CHZ is gonna be a nice short, guys. I got a video on CHZ coming out, so we're getting close. Now, the next subject to check out is DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama tracks TV on. It lets you know how much people trust an ecosystem. Cardano's DeFi would have been blowing up if that last upgrade would have went as planned, but there's a lot of issues with the code. Think about TVL, like the amount people trust an ecosystem. The more people trust and they feel like their crypto is safe in a DeFi ecosystem, the more people are gonna stake it in DeFi protocols to generate passive income and do all the crazy DeFi degenerate things that we do. Now, if we take a look at Cardano's TVL, which is kind of to be expected because there's not much actually running in the, and I think they only did 3000 smart contract ex executed in one year, which is, I mean, most blockchains do that in a few seconds. So that being said, not unrealistic to see TBL so low, but it is very unrealistic to see a smart contract blockchain that's been functioning for over a year that's the size of Cardano that has a $15 billion market cap to only have $81 million in TBL. So now if we pull up Cardano in the charts, I actually think that Cardano is gonna rally. I know you guys, Cardano is not my favorite coin, but I mean like just poking fun at you guys, but I, I'm rooting for Cardano. As far as a proof of stake project goes, I wanna say that they've done it the best as far as decentralization. But the argument would be, when you talk about decentralizing the layer one, the underlying asset Cardano being decentralized. But in order for that blockchain to actually function properly, you're gonna to have to introduce a layer two. And then is that layer two decentralized? Is that layer two gonna be a single point of failure? What happened if that layer two got compromised and the entire Cardano blockchain is compromised? There are several issues with Cardano, right? Fees are very high. Gas, 25 cents is super expensive compared to other blockchains. They are going to upgrade to an elastic block size. So you're gonna be expanding and contracting the size of your block, which I guess years down the road, when it becomes an issue because storing that much data, that big of a blockchain is gonna be massive, right? So you're gonna make elastic block size which will then inadvertently, I believe, cause them to have to do something like a snapshot where you take a snapshot of the entire blockchain, you back it up somewhere, maybe you turn it into a hash and you store it back on chain somehow to make sure that it's authentic and it never changed. Not really sure how that's going to go, but these are all things, I guess, learning curves that you have to deal with. But but a layer one blockchain that's only able to process 250 TPS, when you talk about global adoption and what would be needed to onboard the entire world and actually use Cardano like an actual currency. Do you guys think that that would make things more or less decentralized? Do you think that using a layer two on top of a layer one is gonna add security risk? Drop some comments below and what you guys think. And FYI, I don't own any Cardano, I don't plan to own any Cardano, but I do think that there's gonna be a rally here in the next couple of weeks. So I'm probably gonna be taking some long positions on it or at the very least shorting it when it pumps up. So taking a look at Cardano and we're talking about RSI. I mean, Cardano on the four hour time frame was pretty much bottomed out over here. We've rallied up a little bit, but definitely still more room to come down. So we could go either way on Cardano. Now, why don't I hold any Cardano in my portfolio? Uh, one of the main reasons was in summer of 2021, we take a look at Cardano came down to say a dollar. Then fast forward a year later, and the asset has depreciated 60% in value. So I always monitor these layer one blockchains and I look back in summer of 2021 to summer of 2022 and I go, oh wow, 
there's a lot of blockchains that are actually up in value versus down in value. So what that tells me is that signals that, hey, community members or whoever was holding onto this asset over here, there are less people here that believe in the project because they sold. And that's what drives down price. There is more sell pressure than buy pressure. And I think that all boils back to the fact that most people in this industry are really looking for those life-changing gains, those 10, 20, 50, even 100x gains. And when you look at an asset like Cardano that has a market cap at 15 billion, even if they got everything flawless and mm, what is it, Hydra turns on and Cardano has got Solana-like speeds and gas fees are like Solana, you would be looking at like best case next bull run, maybe $160 billion market cap. But I don't even know if you could get that high, maybe because there's just so much competition. You know, when Ethereum did its thing, it was really the only smart contract blockchain. And it was that main one and it got that major head start of way ahead of everything else. And then after that, you've seen Binance, but Binance got its run up because A, it was super cheap. Market cap was not 15 billion and it ran up and did 100X, right? Like these products had a lot lower market caps and each one of them had a unique thing. Like Binance was right after Ethereum. So Ethereum's gas fees and crypto kitties started going up. Binance was literally like a proof of stake version of Ethereum. So they switched and everybody went over to Binance and that's how things kept running on Binance. And then you had polygons and these layer twos then you had avalanche and solana which came out because there were issues with ethereum and those smart contracts are working on cardano right so right place right time super fast sexy really smooth user experience you know the industry has a lot of options now so what do you guys think what blockchain what layer one do you guys think is going to be the number one layer one going into the 2024 bull run so just taking a look at key market structure key areas of support if we take a look over here we pretty much have this solid area of support at 70 at 37 cents and then we have another one down here at 27 cents so if we go back to the 2017 bull run man i got my butt handed on me when cardano came all the way down from a dollar 25 to one and a half cents so if we have that mother of all crashes and cardano doesn't have any updates or the hard fork didn't take place or things aren't turning on and smart contracts aren't actually running on Cardano and we have the mother of all crashes, I think you'll see Cardano probably down where it's 20 cents. Now, if we rally and the markets do rally because we don't have a Fed meeting next month and the USA markets do turn around and we get some type of rally out of this market, I think on that next rally up, we'd see Cardano hit roughly 60 cents. But now if these smart contracts start working and everything actually is starts to work on Cardano, Within a few months of their next upgrade, I don't think it's unrealistic to think that Cardano will rally because there's so many projects built on top of Cardano and everything's just kind of sitting there stagnant. We swing back over to DeFi Llama. I mean, Steve at VY Finance was planning to launch in November of 2021, and it's now September of 2022, and he's actually not even planning to launch until January of next year, if I'm not mistaken. So guys, don't forget to drop those comments below. October 1st of 2023, where do you think the price of Cardano is going to be? Again, my name is Ryan Meta. I'll catch you guys in the live stream tonight. Peace.